You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Respect the scorpion, nigga. Ah. The butcher coming, nigga. Y'all know what it is, nigga. Black Soprano family, nigga. So round number three between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills and Super Wild Card Weekend, huh? Oh man, oh man, oh man. That is some hilarious shit to me, y'all. <laughs> look, look. I'm just gonna get straight to the point because, you know, I only have a little bit of energy left to shit over the Miami Dolphins fan base, alright? So, Miami Dolphins, we meet again for a third time in a row this season, huh? Look, Miami Dolphins fans, just accept that, you know, your season comes to a close this Sunday afternoon, alright? Like, you have no Tua as your starting quarterback, you have numbers of injuries on both sides of the ball, all right, your defense is still trash, okay, and you're still not that good of a team. And also, you're the worst team in the entire AFC picture besides the Jacksonville Jaguars, all right? So, Miami Dolphins fans, there's really nothing else you could really say other than the fact that, you know, you may have a chance in hell to pull off probably one of the greatest upsets this upcoming weekend and shit all right come playoff time all right maybe you could have something to say about that but let me just tell you something between the buffalo bills and the miami dolphins when it comes to playoff time you see i have checked that you have only won three games on the road and lost let's see I don't know 16 of them and those 16 came against us by the way on the road you lost to us in the divisional round in the 90s and then you know you lost in the wild card round to us in um the 90s as well all right when you had marino as your quarterback all right so miami dolphins fans you can't beat us on the road at home okay in in our fucking territory all right so this whole notion that you're gonna come out here and you know beat up your fucking chest after you barely beat the damn Jets just a week ago to get into the playoffs and you needed us to beat the Patriots in order for you bozos to get into the playoffs so that you could get your ass whooped the next week by us again again all right so you know, there's, there's really no love loss between me and Dolphins whatsoever. And I know there's no love loss between me and them as well. Alright? So, at the end of the day, Miami Dolphins fans, you're about to get your ass whooped. Okay? Because we're Georgia and you're TCU. Okay? Because we're, we're going to get the National Championship Encore this Sunday, people. Alright? Josh Allen owns you. I mean, I've done this numerous times, but, you know, I just wanted to just throw it out there just one more time. Josh Allen owns you, by the way, and he'll be 9-2 against you after this Sunday. All right? Your offense is trash without two as your quarterback. I mean, like, you really think that Skyler Thompson, a seven-round rookie quarterback, is going to save you bitches this Sunday against us? Because I'm seeing a lot of Dolphin fans having a lot of confidence in this kid thinking that he could come up to Buffalo and, uh, y you know, beat Josh Allen in his own got the territory. Let me tell you something right now. All right, Miami Dolphin fans, do you not realize that the NFL is about to fuck you this week as well? 
okay because the only reason why the NFL only put you in the playoffs is so that you know you get your ass whooped and that you know they have a narrative to build on towards the Buffalo Bills you see did you really think that after the tragedy that had happened just weeks ago in Cincinnati with Demar Hamlin, thank God he's out there hospital right now. Um, did you really think that you know you was gonna come into Buffalo and beat us in the playoff game with a tragedy like that was gonna happen, and that the NFL has something to build towards of? Because I could, I can promise you this, the NFL rigged that game against us and the Patriots last week. All right, I mean, there was really no calls from either side of the goddamn ball from either team since 2015. Like, there was blatant flags to be thrown against the Buffalo Bills. But we all knew damn well they weren't going to let us lose after a tragedy like that. All right? So, Miami Dolphins fans. Do you really think that you're going to come into Buffalo and knowing that the referees is about to fuck you over of each fucking flag that you're not going to get any motherfucking calls whatsoever? And also, here's a funny thing about Miami Dolphins and the ref. Wasn't the last time you came out to Buffalo, weren't you complaining about the fucking referees that didn't get you no calls against us and shit? So yeah, you should already know you're gonna get fucked regardless of what. And also, it's gonna be a lot worse because you're gonna get blown the fuck out. You're gonna get blown the fuck out. So, Miami Dolphin fans, you can talk all that fake ass tough shit all you want. Because I could promise you this. After you win five games and of losing, you don't even deserve to make the playoffs, man. I'm sorry. You don't deserve it. You were an eight and three, and all of a sudden, your record became nine and eight. Typical Miami Dolphins. But you know what? You know what's so funny, man? I found this so ironic. Weren't you just nine and eight with Brian Flores just a year ago with lesser talent, and now you got more talent with a new coaching staff, and you still went nine and eight? You pretty much underachieved than you did a year ago so you know that's something that you have to hold on to man you had more talent with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle and you still win 9-8 with a brand new coaching staff by the way I mean it's typical Miami Dolphins man I mean like it just is man like like I said it's a never-ending story with this franchise man all right i mean it's just a cycle that keeps repeating itself all right you know what else is gonna keep repeating itself you ain't gonna win no playoff game you haven't won a playoff game in over 22 years and you might as well start saying 23 after this goddamn sunday because i promise you this you ain't winning shit all right because i'm gonna i'm gonna say something right now what you gonna do in the all season after you get your ass kicked by us on Sunday, hmm? You have no money. You have no draft picks no more. I mean, like, everybody's on a contract, uh, you know, extensions and shit. You know, you gotta pay to, uh, you know, you gotta pay, you know, Jalen Waddle. You know, you got, there's, there's a lot of shit you got to do this all season, Miami. Like, you have to pay a lot of people. And the funny thing about that shit is, you have no money. <laughs> you, you have no money, man. So, Miami Dolphin fans, look. After you get your ass kicked like TCU did on Monday, look, you might as well go back to rebuilding because look, it's rebuild time, bro, in Miami after this Sunday, man. I mean, like, you, you might as well just do it. Oh, wait, you can't even rebuild right because every time you rebuild, you get it wrong. All right, just like you got the damn quarterback draft free wrong when you took to a uh, over Herbert, you know, and also here's another catch. You took Tua over Jalen Hurts. Mm mm mm. Boy, 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 I tell you, I tell you, man. So Miami Dolphins fans, RIP to your season because I will be at the funeral by four o'clock. All right. So you know this. This is your awake. This is your awake. All right. This preview. This hate week is your fucking awake. All right, but after 4 p.m., your funeral service begins. All right, so Miami Dolphin fans, 
I hope you enjoy the last moments of days of seeing your team in the, in the playoffs because after Sunday is a fucking wrap. Your season is at an end, Miami. Buffalo, we for sure been through it. On a really tough night for injuries. Micah Hyde. Von Miller is out for the rest of the season. The ball is loose! Do the Vikings have it? It's a disaster in Buffalo, New York. This will go down as the most devastating storm. We love this game for so many reasons that don't seem important right now, as that love has morphed into fervent hope for DeMar Hamlin. But when things are tough, we find each other. On the field, off the field, all the trials and tribulations. We got a strong group, a real family over here. And we find a way. Down the middle, he's open. Oh my goodness! Incredible catch! Intercepted! And it's a game winner. The Bills complete the comeback. In our darkest moments, the love between our city and our team is our life. Bill's Mafia is responding. Donations to his charity yeah, are skyrocketing. It was originally scheduled to be played in New York, and it was moved to the Motor City. Call it the city of good neighbors for a reason. I mean, you saw that in full effect. We strain together. Pay those fans some and respect and treat them well. We strive together. I mean, when you go through and you share an experience like this, it can bring a team closer together. We thrive together. And really, for this Buffalo team, you think about what they've been through. We definitely paid our dues. No rain. Guys, go stepping up. That's a hell of a job! Yeah! Now it's time to reap our destiny. Oh, what a run by Josh Allen with the kick and the lead. We got our ticket. And the Bills slide into the postseason. We got the Mafia. Oh, look at that somersault for a touchdown. This place erupts. And down the sideline he goes. We got our mission. This is for real. Look, this is almost fate. We got everything we need. The Bills are in business. Now there's only one thing left to do. Throwing for the end zone. 15, 10, 5. Put it in stamp on this one. Win it all. I just can't believe what just happened. This is storybook. But this place is absolutely going wild. The light shines on those who come through adversity.